They say in order to make money, you got to spend some money. But where exactly should you be investing? And how big of a risk should you be taking? Kelly Evelino getting answers in today's Your Money. If you don't have any money invested right now in stocks or other accounts that can grow your wallet, listen up. NBC 12's financial expert Carl Carlson is breaking down what we need to know to get that reward after taking a risk. Jeff Bezos gave some good advice. Can you repeat that for us and tell us about what it means? We're talking about risk and return. Jeff Bezos had that quote, given a 10% chance of a 100 times return, I would take that bet every time. If you would have uh, invested in Jeff Bezos' company called Amazon when it first went public, so that's what's happening with a lot of companies right now, tech companies going public, but Amazon did that in 1997. And if you would have invested $1,000 in Amazon stock back when it went public, Today, that $1,000 would be worth $2,200,000. But in the stock market in general, if you would have taken that same $1,000 and invested it in those 500 companies of the S&P 500, today it would be worth about $4,000. A safe bet is always to just have a savings account. Um, why is that maybe not the best choice to just have a savings account and not do anything else with your money? people need some safe investments in their portfolios because you don't want to be risking everything. Uh, so you want to kind of figure out what are those best things that I should be investing in to make sure I'm getting the returns that I should be getting. Because there's so much going on in the stock market right now, Kelly, and there's a lot of new companies starting up. So there's a lot of risk and is it going to be a good investment for me? A lot of tech companies starting up, artificial intelligence companies. It's getting crazy out there. I think it's really important, and that's what our company is doing right now, is we're researching all of these new companies and then figure out which ones you think are going to do best. And, uh, you know, if you have a one in 10 chance that it's going to give you 100 times return, then maybe that's worth it with a part of your money. Generally, you can't buy individual stocks in your 401ks, so you have to do that separately in a brokerage account. And uh, as long as you have it in that brokerage account, and if the value of it looks good on that day, you can sell it in 15 seconds. And now you have the money. And that's your money. I'm Kelly Avellino for NBC 12.